welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Harley and I'm obsessed with all things Trader Joe's. This is the August haul. There's some really great finds in the store now. I know we're all waiting for that pumpkin and those Apple products to come in. But in the meantime, it is still summer. There are still some fun things here. So stay tuned. I'll show you what we got. It includes a new ice cream which is super exciting. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So without further ado, let's jump into this month's haul. As with all videos, we start with some of the best. This is the banana pudding flavored ice cream. It has salted caramel swirls and vanilla like cookie pieces in it. It is very, very rich and creamy. I will say that. Um, I'll say that I, it was good. I did try it. Give you a shot of the inside. You can see the pieces. You can see the caramel. Um, I'll show you the back. It was a little too much sweetness for my taste. It was still good overall. I'm still a fan of that horchata ice cream. Here's a shot of the back along with the ingredients. It has a whopping, like a whopping 23 grams of sugar in it. The entire container has 69 uh, added grams. So, um, yeah eat sparingly but it was very good I don't know that it would be like a regular thing that I would buy it's probably limited time but it was great to try and I know a lot of people like this it does taste like banana pudding um, it tastes very like I said rich and creamy and extremely sweet the other frozen item I got is this Korean beefless bulgogi um, this is a plant-based bulgogi style, um, like steak, faux steak. Uh, it's in a sweet and savory sauce. It is uh, great to have during the week with like some veggies and like either a stir fry or just by itself. And here's a shot of the back as well as the ingredients. I will not be eating this, but because it was newer, uh, someone in this household wanted to try it, so they will. And if it's super yum, we'll report back and let you know. But this is in the freezer section now. Also new is the red bell pepper, garlic, and parmesan cream cheese spread. Um, I went ahead and picked this up when it first came out at the beginning of the month. I haven't tried it yet. Here is a shot of the nutrition and the ingredients so this is in the refrigerator section it looks really good it would probably be great on a charcuterie or on a um like a bagel or toast in the morning so here we have the delicious chopped salad kit i caved this is our third or fourth bag we are definitely enjoying it. It is a chopped salad with all of these things inside of it, cauliflower, radishes. Um, there is a packet inside, which I don't think you can see, but it has the dill pickle dressing along with some dill pickle chips and instead of croutons. Here is a shot of all the deliciousness. It's been out for a while. This salad kit is new. It is the miso crunched chopped salad kit. It has cabbage and carrots and kale. This has a um, sesame, sesame miso dressing. It's got xiaomi noodles and cashews and sesame seeds as the topping. It is a complete kit. There's that packet inside. Here's a shot of the nutrition and a shot of the ingredients. Super excited to try this miso crunch kit. 
Uh, just picked that up. It is, I think, a limited time kit, but I love their salads. Some of them are seasonal, some of them are a limited time. I just like to try something different sometimes. Uh, the teeny tiny cukes are back in stock for back to school probably. These are delicious little snacks that you can pack in lunches. I love them. They're so good. You can dip them in hummus or some other kind of dressing that you like. Pair them with some carrots and you have a great snack. So since we are talking back to school, I thought I would go ahead and show you their new branded meats. Um, I have their turkey, which is mostly open, so I'm not going to display that. But this is my other favorite from them, their uncured pastrami. Um, this is also in the refrigerator section where their meats and cheeses are. Everything has been recently repackaged or rebranded. Here's a shot of the back. And it is resealable, which is great. So you can take out what you need and just push it back down um, and it sticks back down to the plastic. So grab some of meats. Also decided to grab some unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. Um, I did pick up some vegan brats, but I prefer the real deal so I'm gonna have the chicken sausage when we have dinner this week and this is some really good um, sausage you can caramelize up some onions and mushrooms and peppers or whatever you like and put this together real simple real quick for dinner lunch or whenever you want here's a shot of the back for you and here is the buttermilk and brined half chicken uh, I've been eyeing it for a while. I hadn't picked it up when it came out because I was like, "Who? what do I need a half a chicken for? I'm one person. Because um, my household, we are mostly vegetarian. So I decided to get it and try it. I said, worst case, I can just take it to lunch and make chicken salad or something with it. And let me tell you, this is perfect, perfect for one or two people. Um, it is super moist and delicious. The instructions are on the back on how to cook it, what temperature to cook it at. It's pretty dummy proof when it comes to like ruining this. I sprinkled some of that ranch seasoning that they have. I sprinkled some of this on top and it really added a great tang to the chicken. Um, so these two paired together are perfect for a great dinner. You can grill it, but I baked it in the oven and this is my second one now, so that's how much I liked it. I will definitely be adding this into my lonesome weeknight meals when I am by myself again, a shot of the back. And I think I put it in a 375 oven for 35 minutes and it was perfect. So it was also quick. It was like one of those 30 minute meals. I paired this with some rice and vegetables and again used the um, ranch seasoning, which I was trying to figure out what to do with this and now I have. I put it on chicken, so that was exciting. Now that all the cold food is put away, the next product, which is new this week to Trader Joe's, are the thin and crunchy pretzel slims. Um, I like the Snack Factory pretzel chips. These are uh, similar in nature to them. Here is your nutrition information as well as a shot of your ingredients. They're pretzels. It's not a huge bag and there's supposed to be eight servings in here so um, it's great for snacks, for lunch, anytime. I picked up the new peanuts in a pickle. These are Virginia peanuts, which are my favorite, and they are dill flavored. Here is a shot of the nutrition. There are six servings in this container. I'm excited to have these on hand for a quick snack or to throw on a weekday charcuterie after work 
with some cheeses and then meats and ca carrots and cucumbers and all that stuff. The mini chocolate chip cookies are new. This cute little bag is great to throw in your lunchbox or bring with you wherever you're on the go. Take it to the beach. One serving per container. Here's a shot of the nutrition. And here is a shot of your ingredients. For a small bag, it was a little pricey. They were 99 cents, I think, but um, they're good to just have on hand. I wouldn't eat them every day because, you know, if you're going to put it in a lunch, that's like $5 worth of cookies, and honestly, you can just buy a big box and divide it for that. I don't know if they're repackaging, rebranding, or these are new, but the organic dark chocolate bar with almonds caught my eye, so I picked one up. Here's a shot of the back for you. I love this new, it's gotta be new packaging. I love it. It's so adorable. They have a whole line of them, but this one caught my eye because I don't think I've showed this one before. Also something that caught my eye going into cold and flu season was this BNU propolis shot. I'm a huge proponent of propolis. It has propolis, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and zinc in it. Um, and here is a shot as best as I can of the nutrition. It is packed with orange juice and raw honey and um, some zinc and D and all that stuff. The C comes from your ascorbic acid. And there are 11 sugars, but none of them are added. It's just from the juices that they're putting in it. It is shelf stable. So that means that all of this was probably um, high heat pasteurized to stay on the shelf, which is fine. Um, I prefer the fresh pressed ones, but this is great to keep on hand. It's good until 2025, so I can just store this in my cabinet. And if I run out or I'm not feeling well and I have nothing else, I can grab one of these. So one of the new hand soaps this month, which is perfect for summer and smells absolutely like intoxicating is this peach mango scented foaming hand soap i grabbed a couple because you know and once it's gone it's gone um this stuff really i put it in my kitchen instead of the um grapefruit one that i usually use and this just adds such a great vibe because of the packaging but also a great scent and for kids, it may encourage some hand washing if they really like it. So if you can still grab this, do so. Okay, so I picked up the 50 SPF blue bottle. Why did I do that? Well, apparently Consumer Reports thinks it's just the cat's meow. So I grabbed an extra one because you know how once the season is done, they really don't have them. Um, or it's hard to get. This stuff is great for planning your vacations between now and next summer when this comes back out or next spring when it comes back out. Um, it got high ratings, so I was excited to see that. And I decided to pick up a can to have for when we go away and we don't have to worry about getting um, sunscreen. The good thing about this is it's good until 2025. Always check the bottom to see when your sunscreen expires or somewhere on it. But this will last a couple years. And with inflation, I figured, you know what? I don't know what sunscreen is going to cost next year. So even if we don't go away, we have it. Okay, so coffee time. Uh, yeah, this is a blend. I, I'm not a fan of blends. But I will say this, um, Trader Joe's has some very good coffee, so I'm always willing to try it, and sometimes I am surprised by their blends. This is El Salvador and Nicaragua. It's a 50-50. It's medium roast and light roast. 
So it has the little story and notes on the side from the El Salvador, which has the orange, jasmine, and chocolate. And then on the other side, Nicaragua, which is the caramel and honey. And then of course on the back you have the story. So the great thing about Trader Joe's is you can have lots of different beans because they turn over their coffee. It used to be monthly, but now it's every few months. They come out with some new beans. Um, the bad part about it is if you really like something, you're not going to get it again. So that's the only downside. But we do enjoy a lot of their coffees and we do try to grab them when we can. Pairing with that, these sour cream donuts were back in stock, which was exciting. So of course, you know, we grabbed have some coffee and a donut. I haven't seen those in a while. And I decided to grab the Pan Olay Chocolate Chip French Milk Rolls, which are fantastic for a breakfast or a snack. They're very soft and moist and they just balanced out my shopping trip this week. I did not forget about the extra virgin Kalamata olive oil that is cold pressed single variety which is as good as it really does get if that's true and it's a product of Greece so you know it's quality as well. This is going to be more of a finishing oil. I don't know that I would actually cook with this. Maybe I would make some eggs or something and put this on the bottom of the pan just to drop but this is going to be for your dressings. Um, and to finish like pasta dishes and stuff. So I don't know that I would um, cook regularly with this. It is um, a 16.9 ounce can. It's at the bottom now of the shelves. It's a little, about a month old. It's at the bottom of the shelves on the oil area. So I don't know if they're gonna have it for an extended time, but they have it now. And then there was this. Last but not least, shelf stable, organic, all good things. This is your pineapple, mango, lemon juice, which is fantastic in my opinion. It also has orange in it. It is a super power C vitamin C juice that is not refrigerated, so that's great until you open it. And it's got all of the juices along with acerola, which is hugely supportive of your C and your immune system. And I picked it up for cold and flu season or if there's another go around to COVID in the household. And we have it and it sits on the shelf and it's good until next December or this December. So... We will definitely drink this, try this, um, but yeah, it's uh, a new addition where their juices are on the shelf. Some of their juices are going away. Some of their juices are new. This is a one of them, and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this month's haul. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you next month when we do the September unveiling of all of the new things and some favorites that Trader Joe's has to offer. Take care.